right, let's get started. Today we're here to do a body breakdown of Tarzan, also known as Alexander Skarsgård. Skarsgård. His last name's hard to pronounce. I think he's from Sweden. Now before we get started, throughout this body breakdown, I'm also gonna be directing you towards different types of workouts. You can grab those right now by clicking the button top right hand corner. It's a four week challenge and those workouts are the same type of workouts I'm gonna tell you to do later in this video. So if you wanna just click it and open it in a new tab and grab it later, you can do that. All you have to do is enter your email on our website and we'll send them to you for free. Now how in the hell do we look like this dude Tarzan? Well. First, let's frame this whole conversation by saying the actor who played Tarzan, Alexander, the guy was already pretty lean. He liked to run. So for him, it wasn't as much about leaning up and getting shredded. It was more about putting on some muscle mass so he looked like he could actually realistically fight a gorilla. In total, Tarzan or Alexander's program took 21 weeks. So this stuff doesn't happen overnight, right? You don't just go through a 30 day challenge or something like that and come out of it looking like Tarzan. Here's the thing, he made creating his physique like his full-time job while he was doing it. I mean, it's insane. I'm about to dive into exactly what he did, but I want you to know if you want that Tarzan physique and you know you have a long way to go, then understand it's not gonna happen overnight. You're gonna have to dedicate yourself and you're gonna have to do the things that I point out through this video. So the first three months, he dedicated just to lifting weights. He didn't do any cardio. He did a little bit of mobility work, but for the most part, he was just eating as much as he could and he was lifting weights. And so he was lifting four days a week and taking three days rest. And this has actually proven to be a great way to gain muscle because a lot of people think that, oh, I gotta lift every single day if I'm gonna gain muscle mass. No, 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 your body needs time to rest. First day, let's call it Monday, he was doing squats, deadlifts, leg press, and a couple body weight exercises that engage his legs. For his main lift, which was squats, he was doing something called a pyramid, where he was working from 12 reps down to six reps. For deadlifts and leg press, he was hanging in the rep range between like 10 and 12 repetitions per set, and in total, he was doing about three to four sets per exercise. When he did the body weight leg exercises, he was really focusing more on higher reps. You can really swap that out for whatever you want, air squats, pistol squats, leapfrogs, you name it. Day number two, let's call it Tuesday, was his rest day. Rest days are so important because rest days are the days you grow on. You don't necessarily grow when you're lifting weights, okay? That's when you're tearing down the muscle. So Tarzan was getting ripped on the days that he was taking off and he was eating, he was rebuilding that muscle tissue that allowed him to create that muscular, lean physique that you saw in the movie. Day three was chest and front delt. Let's just call it Wednesday. Again, he was working from the pyramid. So 12, 10, 8, 6 on bench press. And then he was also doing lifts like incline bench press, cable flies, and overhead dumbbell press. Again, he was staying in the 10 to 12 rep range. Throughout this whole program, he did not do less than six reps and did not do more than 12 reps, unless we're talking about the body weight exercises. On those, a few of the sets, he was getting into 15 to 20 reps. Finally, he was finishing up Wednesdays with some push-ups and some burpees to help burn out with some body weight, upper body exercises. Day four, again, rest. So let's call it Thursday. He was taking day four off. He was straight chilling. Those rest days when you get them gained, son. Day five was back in middle delts. Right there, middle delts. In the back. Let's call it Friday. So he was doing four sets of pull-ups to failure, which means you're doing as many pull-ups as you can on every set until you can't do any more. And if you can't do a pull-up, look at this right here. I want you to do what we call a negative pull-ups, okay? So for people who can't do pull-ups, you're jumping up and you're slowly lowering your body down. And this is your way of building up to being able to do normal pull-ups. On top of the pull-ups, he was doing some alternating dumbbell rows. He was doing some seated cable rows. He was doing some cable wood chops, which is really core work. Um, so he was doing core work every other day. I'll mention that later, but this is an example of exercise he was doing to build his core, his abdominals. And then he was also doing dumbbell rear delt raises and dumbbell side delt raises. Day six again, he's growing, he's putting that muscle on, he's taking a rest day. So let's call it Saturday. And then finally, day seven, curls for the girls, baby. He had arms day. He would hit them alternating bicep curls, the easy bar curl, barbell lying tricep extension, also known as skull crushes, the overhead rope extension, cable bicep curl, and the cable press down. He was just doing you know two to three sets and between 10 to 12 repetitions for each one of those sets of the different arm exercises. 
In addition, he was also doing core work every other day. So core work included what I talked about earlier, those wood chops, and you know, really you can plug in whatever core work you want. I don't necessarily think you have to do core work or abdominal work every other day. I would say two to three times a week is more than enough. Um, and you can do exercises like hanging leg raises, like ab crunchers, planks, all those kind of things are great. Tarzan was also doing a lot of mobility work. So mobility work is so important because how are you supposed to swing from vine to vine if you're not mobile? So he was doing yoga, he was running obstacle courses, he was doing a lot of things like that. And so what we recommend, if you want to stay mobile, start jumping some rope. We say jump a rope just because we think it helps with footwork and overall mobility and just bounciness and your ability to look and feel like an athlete. So after the first three months of just hitting lifting hard, he moved on to adding in some cardio. And so for the next month, he did his lifting program, but also adding in cardio on his old off days. So when he used to have rest days, got rid of those, added cardio. And then finally, for the last five weeks of his regimen, he wasn't really where he wanted to be yet, so he went insane. His trainer put him on a regimen where he was working out 10 to 14 times a week. If you do the math, that means he was working out one to two times per day. That means he was hitting his hard cardio in the morning, maybe doing a lift in the evening. The dude was just crushing it. And this is what happened. When he went that hard, he ended up overtraining and he wasn't making progress. So towards the end of his regimen, what his trainer had him do was just back off completely. He said, hey, you're gonna start eating some more and you're gonna start working out less. And this makes sense because your body is run by your hormones. And when you're stressing your body out by doing too much weightlifting or too much cardio, a hormone in your body called cortisol increases. And what cortisol does is, man, cortisol gets you all catabolic and stuff, makes your muscles deteriorate, and also can lead to you gaining excess body fat. Cortisol, we don't want it. That's why I would recommend never working out 10 to 14 times a week. It's not fun and it's just not necessary. You end up overtraining and you're just doing extra work and getting less results. Doesn't make sense. Unless you're on steroids or human growth hormone. Those guys can get away with it because they have a lot more hormones in their body, testosterone mainly, than you probably do. So don't compare yourself to bodybuilders or people that are very serious power lifters because those people have some extra help that gets in them gains. Nothing wrong with that. If you wanna do that, that's cool, that's you. But Tarzan didn't do that and so he got overtrained. So for you, I'd recommend trying to work out, you know, maybe five maxing out at six days a week. Give yourself a complete rest day every single week. And so you can do his lifting program four days a week. And then to recommend adding in a couple jump rope days as well. And we actually have a course that I'll put in the description for you called the Gaining Muscle Course that includes something very similar to what he did in his lifting program. The only difference is we add in a couple of jump rope days to keep you mobile. We tell you exactly what exercises and workouts to do on which days. And we tell you how to do the nutrition. Speaking of nutrition, my dude was eating like a madman. For the beginning three months of this program, he was eating 7,000 plus calories a day. That's insane. I'm about 190 pounds, so for me, I can calculate my calories and know that I should be eating somewhere around 2,500 calories, 2,600 calories a day to lose body fat. And if I wanted to gain, then I'd be eating closer to like 3,000, you know, in the low 3,000s of calories. So in my opinion, he was eating way too much. It was unnecessary. And what the more efficient thing to do is find out exactly how much food you need to either gain muscle or lose body fat. And so I'll link up in the right hand corner right now a video where we actually teach you exactly how to do that. And if he wants to take you hand over hand to do it, again, I put a course in the description below which will teach you how to do this as well. Now, of course, Tarzan did not eat 7,000 calories the whole program. For the last five weeks, he was cutting down calories quite dramatically so he can lose body fat. Now, how do you know if you should be losing body fat or gaining muscle? Well, here's the thing. If you're already a naturally lean person, I would start trying to gain muscle. If you're someone who needs to lose body fat, I would start there, lean up, get that chisel six pack, and then after that, you can go back to the drawing board, you can start gaining muscle and build that physique from there. That's basically where Tarzan started. He was lean and he had to gain muscle and he gained a little fat in that process, so at the very end, he had a dead sprint to lose that. At the end of the day, the reason why Tarzan looked like Tarzan had more to do with his mindset than anything else. He decided, he had this movie part and he was like, I'm going to look like Tarzan no matter what. And so what he did was he had a vision in his mind and he visualized and he saw, he's like, I'm gonna look like this dude. I wanna look like this big muscular guy who can you know, wrestle with gorillas and I'm not gonna stop until I reach that goal. 
On top of having a goal, he had a time set. He knew when the movie was gonna be filmed, so he had an objective time frame in which he had to reach that goal. So I think it's really good for you. If you wanna create this physique, don't just say, oh, that'd be cool, I might do that one day. Instead, maybe pick a day 21 weeks from now, just like he did, and start working towards that goal by doing the program that we've outlined in this video. Also, start visualizing. We know that we can program our body cells through visualization to create the body that we want. You know, Arnold Schwarzenegger knew what he was talking about when he was like, you know, it's the mind that creates the body. This stuff's no joke. There's a lot of neuroscience research that says that this mind right here is very powerful in creating your physique, so don't underestimate it. The only reason that people start and stop and don't achieve their goal of looking like someone like Tarzan is because they quit. That's it. They're not consistent. They get discouraged and they fall off before they can see all the results. So for you, if you want a community that's going to support you in reaching this goal, again, we've already invited you to the four week challenge. We have a very close knit community here at Zendu Fitness. If you want to look like Tarzan, tell us and we'll hold you accountable every day to plugging in, getting your workouts in and also hitting your nutrition in a way that's going to guarantee that you can create the Tarzan physique. I hope this video was helpful for you. If you liked it, please give the video a like. If you have questions about anything I covered in this video, drop them in the comments below. And in a second, a little screen is going to pop up that's going to invite you to subscribe to the YouTube channel. So if this was helpful, we have a lot of other videos like this. Please subscribe to the channel. We'll send you all kinds of good stuff. Thanks for watching. Zen Dudes out.